have helps me figure stuff out and when your life is as weird as mine there's plenty to figure out everyone has something that helps make sense of things for me it's doing laps some people get into horoscopes and fortune tellers but that's not really for me I've never believed in all that mumbo jumbo well not until recently Set. With the new moon rising, it's time for Gemini babes to face the music. And it ain't gonna be pretty. What a downer. I can't believe you take that stuff seriously. Next you'll be reading Chinese tea leaves like my gran. She can read leaves? <sighs> I was kidding. It's just a bit of fun. Who knows if it means anything. But you're gonna read me mine anyway, aren't you? Uh-huh. Aries. <laughs> Listen up, Ram Girl. Your ship is about to come in, and its precious cargo is the chance to travel and broaden your horizons. Now is the time you will triumph over adversity. <laughs> yeah, right. So feel the fear and do it anyway, because Mr. Wright is sailing your way. Hello! <laughs> that stuff is gonna rot your brain. The truth is out there, Kenny. <laughs> so let go, control freak Aries woman, and open your heart to a whole new beginning. Why couldn't mine be that good? That stuff is for losers. OK, so maybe Mr. Wright isn't right here, right now. But if the stars say it's going to happen, maybe it will. I don't want a Mr. Wright. Look, none of these predictions are coming true. Want to bet? Even one of these comes up, my Manchester United scarf is all yours. You're that confident. I'm that confident. And I was, but not for long. You know she's never on time. Kenny, your father's got some very exciting news. Are we late? Is that the time? This is so typically Molly. She was deliberately trying to miss the family meeting. Who could blame her? Me. You were deliberately trying to miss the family meeting. Tell me why don't you? All right, you too. As it happens, you're just in time for the announcement. We're moving to Sydney. You know those moments in life? where everything just seems to stop. This was one of them. Isn't it great? I've just been offered a new job. It's a very prestigious position. But all our friends are here. You'll make new friends. But this is our home. We're doing this for you as much as us, Molly. It's time we got you away from the bad influences. What bad influences? Little did the parentals know that Molly was the bad influence. So as usual, Molly does a crime and I do the time. It's so completely unfair. But we can't leave, we just can't. Sorry, Molly, but we're moving Saturday week, so you better get used to the it's idea. It's going to be great, you'll see. So we don't even get a say? You're always telling us how much you hate Crescent Bay. Think of it as a fresh start, a chance to broaden your horizons. A chance to broaden your horizons? That's what the horoscope said. Could you just stop? This Sydney thing had better mean separate rooms. I'm not leaving. Fridge is on the verge of asking me out. I know it. Fridge. Why would anyone want a guy called Fridge asking them out? You're too young. You wouldn't understand. What about the sleepover club? How am I going to tell the girls? And where am I going to find friends like that again? It's not like there's any shortage of dumb girls in Sydney. This is all your fault. If you hadn't been such a brat... Don't you'd... fool yourself. This is about Dad's career. We're just a convenient excuse. What's with the outrage? You hate living here. I'm just worried about Gran. It's not like she even got a say about moving. Since when do you care? I thought you hated looking after her. I do. What do you two do together, anyway? <laughs> Look, 
We play mahjong at the community centre. With little old ladies. They treat me like an adult. Nobody else does. That's almost cute. Tell anyone and I'll kill you. Thanks to you, we're moving to Sydney. So who am I going to tell? It starts Saturday week. I just can't wait. Mum and Andy got me the cutest wetsuit. It's got these gorgeous pink panels on the side. My dad reckons Michael should get to go to surf school too. To be fair. What did you tell him? That it's important for our development as individuals to have different interests. Nice work. Shame I can't do my photography assignment on our surfing. I'll have to make do with Kenny and athletics. Kim, are you bringing your own board or are you renting one like us? Actually, I'm not really up for it. But it was your idea. There's no point if you don't come too. Come on, it'll be fun. The instructor looks exactly like Ryan Scott. <laughs> I'm just not up for it, okay? All right, what's going on? Don't you know already? Or haven't you consulted the staff today? I wanted to tell them about leaving. Hey, Kenny. But somehow saying it out loud made it kind of harder to face. I've got running. Jeez, sleepover at your house is going to be fun if you're still this grumpy. I don't know about tonight. What do you mean you don't know? You're still a member of this club, aren't you? I'm going to be late. Kenny! Wait for me! You might be in a bad mood, but I've still got my photography assignment to do. How's your time, Tam? Huh? It took me a minute to realise Ryan Scott was actually speaking to me. That he could actually speak at all. I mean, none of us had ever had a conversation with Fliss's ideal guy. You OK? You look a bit... <laughs> Just, you know, getting my breath. And racking my brain for something to say. You've got good form. You could be a great runner. Could be. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Nobody except Ryan Scott. <laughs> Suppose not. You're dropping your toes. You've got to keep them parallel to the track for maximum speed. Sounds like you know what you're talking about. Dad was in the Olympic team. Of course he's a dinosaur now, but, <laughs> you know, he's good for tips. Hey, the regionals are coming up. Maybe we could train together? If you want. Sure. Whatever. Great. So? He wants to train together. It's just running. So what's happening about the sleepover? At mine. Sorry about earlier. I was just... I'll make it up to you guys. Some things put you in a better mood. <laughs> Get the shots you wanted? They've got A-plus written all over them. Can't wait to see them. <laughs> There's no point, you're wasting your time. We have to do something. We can't just let them make us move. They're our parents. Making us do stuff we don't want to is their job. We're not this desperate, are we? Sadly, we are. You're gonna have to clean all that up. The girls will be here for the sleepover in a while. Well, that's one upside of moving, I suppose. No more of your pathetic pyjama parties. They're not pyjama parties. Sorry, I forgot. It's a secret club. Relax. It's not like we're ever going to bug you again. This is sure to be the last one. So what's Katie's problem? She didn't say. That's it? You didn't, like, worm it out of her? If there's something going on, I'm sure she'll tell us tonight. So the sleepover is still on. She says she's going to make it up to us. What does that mean, exactly? I don't know. But I love a surprise. I wonder what it is. Grant? What are you doing? Feng Shui. Why? To ward off the bedlock and moves to Sydney. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you really think that's going to help? Wouldn't hurt. Superstition's not going to help, Gran. Molly got us into this. She's the one who should be getting us out of it. And how am I supposed to do that? Dad's made up his mind. You girls better stop believing in each other, if nothing else. Each other is all you may have one day. And that would be fully tragic. Some people would envy you. Not everybody is lucky enough to have sisters. Why couldn't I have been one of the lucky sisterless ones? United, you stand. Divided, you fall. Tonight is going to be perfect. I've got the whole thing organised. I thought it'd be fun to do a retro thing, so I put everything from my first sleep over here. Same movie, same food, same music. It's going to be a blast. Are you OK? Didn't hit your head or anything. What? Can we just get on with the sleepover? You just seem kind of up all of a sudden. If this was going to be the last ever sleepover, I was determined to go out with a bang. Frankie, the horn, please. She's completely freaked out. Completely. What's going on, Kenny? Tell me you don't have a terminal disease or something. You think I've lost it? You haven't. Have you? Of course not. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Your lifeline goes on forever. She's 12. Cynic. Nobody believes this stuff, do they? My nan was into tarot cards. Drove mum nuts. My grandma had a lucky bra. That's crazy, not psychic. I have a guardian angel. I know it. Right. It's true. Look at this top. It was on sale and in my exact size. Found it at the back of the rack. You can't tell me that was an accident. These look great, Linz. Kenny actually looks like a pro athlete. <laughs> That's because I'm an amazingly good photographer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing this. How could you? What? Oh. I thought you were taking photos of me. The light looks really nice, don't you think? Fliss, it's nothing. We had a conversation. It wasn't deep. You had a conversation with Brian Scott. A conversation. I hadn't even done that yet. He does have good hair. Got to give him that. I can't believe you would do this to me. This is the man I'm going to marry. Mr. Wright is sailing your way. Ahoy. Land ahead. Natives seem kind of friendly. We had a conversation. That's all. He's capable of that. Well, have you ever heard him speak? That's not the point. You're supposed to be my friend. I am! Friends don't steal other friends' husbands. It wasn't like that. Not that it matters anyway. It so matters. You think so? This time next week I'll be living in Sydney and Ryan Scott will be all yours. What do you mean, living in Sydney? My dad's got a new job there and they want him to start straight away. But you can't leave. What about the sleepover club? The chance to travel and broaden your horizons. It really is coming true. It's definite. I'm gonna miss you guys. I know what it's like, you know. Leaving all your friends behind. Going to a whole new place. It's not like I've even got a choice. I mean, shouldn't we have had a vote or something? 
only happens on TV. I know it's going to be good for Dad. I just... It's so far away. We'll come visit. It'll be like... Sleepover club on tour. <laughs> it won't be the same. Nothing stays the same. Why not? It just doesn't. Part of growing up, I guess. <laughs> not sure I want to grow up. I know what you mean. At least you got to talk to Brian Scott. You're supposed to be cheering me up. <laughs> Shh. Mom, what am I gonna do? Kenny's been my best friend since forever. Gee, thanks. You know what I mean. I wouldn't have even started the sleepover club if it wasn't for her. Who's gonna make us play dumb sports now? We need to take responsibility. Get our priorities in order. We have to do something. Like what? It's not like we can go get her dad sacked from his new job, can we? No. Then how else are we going to stop her from moving? Maybe it's not about where they're moving to. Maybe it's about where they're moving from. I don't get it. The open inspection of their apartment is this weekend, yeah? Yeah. Come on, we haven't got a lot of time. Where are we going? I'm not dressed for a plan. Frankie's got a plan. It'll work for sure. Guys, I appreciate the thought, but the moves are done deal. It's in the stars. Now is the time you'll triumph over adversity. It'll work like all the other predictions. Not you too. It's like a cult. Because you've got so much to lose. You really think it could work? Totally. The real estate agent. It's now or never. Are you in? Come on, let's go. Didn't take you long to get into the spirit. United we stand. Quick before Dad gets home. I just can't do it. Oh. What is this? Sardines. <coughs> Left out in the sun. Michael's idea. <coughs> he really is evil, isn't he? First time it's been useful. I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> You'd agree that it's very tastefully decorated. Excuse me. Do you smell something strange? No. Absolute prime real estate. It has every amenity. It has spa, a barbecue area, and as you can see, spectacular. <laughs> It got even better when Molly and Gran joined in. She lives next door. We try to keep her out, but she insists on coming yeah. by to cook for us. She's kind of cute. Why don't she get used to her? Has anyone <gasps> seen it? It's the white one. Oh, there you are, you little devil, you. Did you think you could get away from me? Well, that's one down. Uh, Too bad this heap's small. Uh, it seems to breed like rabbits in this place. Please wait. It's not as bad as it seems. Yeah. The bet with Merlin was my favourite. The rats got star quality. They're stinking fish. Oh, never thought I'd say this, but Michael's a genius. <laughs> It'll be our secret. <laughs> There's no way the Tan family are going anywhere now. We couldn't have done this without you. Not going soft, are you, Kenny? Just staying put. Just staying put. That was Frankie's third resolution. 
But now I knew everything was going to be fine. Have you finished packing yet, girls? What do I know? Mum and Dad were furious when they found out what we'd done. It made them more determined to move than ever. I hope you're satisfied. Your friend's stupid idea didn't work. At least we tried. Do you think your plan was any better? Gosh, no, we won't go. Gosh, no, we won't go. Gosh, no, we won't go. Gosh, no. OK, so my plan needed some work. Nothing stays the same. That's all those dumb horoscopes need to tell you. Things change whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter how fast or how hard you run from them. They still change. You did good, Tam. Really good. Sydney's that way, Kenny. You might as well keep running. <laughs> there were some things I wasn't going to miss. And some things I would really miss a lot. Here, yeah, it's yours. Nope, no way. That was a deal. Any of the predictions come true, it was yours. I'm not taking your man new scarf. You have to. I can't. If I do, it means you're definitely leaving. Won't breaking the deal send your planets out of alignment or something? I think they already are. So you believe in all that mumbo-jumbo now? No. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Sydney could be fun. Mum says I can come and visit anytime I like. It won't be the same, though. Will it? I thought we'd be friends forever. We will be. Somehow. I can't. Yes, you can. So you don't forget. No way am I going to forget. You're going to miss your flight. Walk me back? Absolutely. Sometimes it's hard to know what to believe in. Sometimes you just have to trust things are going to work out. That doesn't mean you forget where you came from or the great friends who help you get where you're going to. I know I won't. <laughs>